All right, so let's look at question four and how we would do this one here. Um, we have two similar circles and it says the scale factor is one to five. So interpreting how we read that scale factor is important. So one to five can be written as one over five, but what does the one refer to and what does the, um, the five refer to? Well, we need to look at what scale is. Remember scale is the ratio of either an image object to the real object. So we could say that the one here refers to the small object, okay? And then the five refers to the large object. Okay, that will just help keep some idea of what we're talking about. So then it says the radius of the smaller circle is 4.2. So what would be the radius of the real object or the larger object in this case? So we can just set up a straight um, proportion question here. Okay, we know our ratio is 1 to 5. Okay, and we know the top number is equal to the, the measurement for the small object. So in the question here, the small object is 4.2. Okay, and then the larger object would be the one that goes on the bottom. So this would be the correct way to set up the ratio. And then once you have this equation set up properly, it's just a simple matter of cross multiplying in order to find x. So we cross multiply, bring x to the top, take the 5 to the top and multiply that by 4.2. And I think you'll find this ends up to be 21 and we're units here of inches. Okay, so the key here is to just understand what is the scale factor talking about and to be consistent when you're setting up your dimensions. So if we say it's 1 to 5, that's implying that the smaller object is the 1 and the larger object is 5 times bigger. So if that's the order in which we use our numbers, then make sure that it's equal to the ratio with the same or order. Okay, so the 4.2 refers to the small object and x in this case is the larger object. All right, so that's how that question would go through.